My name is Matt Rendell. I'm the CEO and co-founder of ClearPath Robotics. We build unmanned vehicles to automate the world's dullest, deadliest, and dirtiest jobs. I got into unmanned vehicles during my time at the University of Waterloo. Myself and my business partners, we were studying mechatronics engineering, and in our spare time, we found ourselves at the UW Robotics team. So we would be uh, hanging out in the robotics lab, building robots for fun, really developed a passion for it, and figured after we graduated, let's turn this into a business. I would have to say we were entrepreneurs before we were inventors, and, and the reason for that is we, we started the business with some ideas and we had built robots before, and that, that is invention, but we scrapped it very early on because we knew that we needed to find a viable business, not focus on the invention itself. And we went out to the market and we spoke with customers. We spoke with as many people as would spend time on the phone with us to learn about their problems, the challenges that they were facing in their business, what kinds of technology they were currently using, and, and try and figure out where robotics could fit into the equation for them. And so we, we invented after um, we were entrepreneurs. There's, there's innovation and then there's what the customer needs. And they're not always connected. A great lesson learned there was we were working on a, on a certain feature for one of our products for a long time and we knew that this was cutting edge, it was better than anything else on the market, it was very advanced, it was a robotic boat that could drive itself and so you put it in the water, you press go and it does its thing and then returns back to shore. The customer didn't want that and all they needed was a remote control and that's a lesson that we learned in terms of, uh, of innovation and commercializing that you need to validate the customer requirements very, very early on. If you leave a bunch of really smart engineers in a room to innovate, they will push the envelope so far because that's what they're designed to do. That's what they live and breathe. But you also need to make sure you keep customer requirements in check because quite often you'll, you'll pass the bar. 